Game starts in three, two, one. Here we go. This is Pink Fluffy Gorges versus Carvalaki. Gonna see this happen. Both European teams. Uh, I have a high ping. They do not. They aliens have started in cargo. The Marines up in control. An armory being dropped right off the bat, probably for the automatic welders that they all want to grab. Uh, looks like Swedish is going to peace out on over to Topographical, while Rob is going to build an Ops Tower in base, meaning they're going fast phase gates at this point. A three push into Skylight to Shrek, Alpha, and the other uh, crazy all build that RT. It looks like three skulks just outside Carva and Horvin are outside as Octo comes up behind them, around them. A 1v1 engagement over in. Um, and topographical, it looks like the Ops Tower has been finished and as have the mines. Carva goes down, but not before taking out Alpha. Octo comes up from behind. Alpha gets netted right off the bat. Octo goes down. Horbin might go down to that pistol shot. Shrek takes him down. That three skull push has been cleared out. They're going to make their way down to Overlook. A gorge being spawned right off the bat is uh, Runty. He is going to build a, a gorge tunnel right between those RTs. Uh, we're actually going to go over to him. That gorge tunnel is actually going to spread infestation to both of those res nodes, which is going to allow uh, Sis the not need assist chain. Commander won't need assist chain to drop those RTs, which is great if you want to hold that room but not have to worry about your assist chain being constantly cut. Two Marines, three Marines down in West Junction as Octo comes around the corner. Alpha, Shrek, and Crazy just making their way down the left side of the map really carefully. That Here comes that three skull push. They're going to actually go down to Skylights. Crazy puts down an offensive mine on that vent expecting Skulks to go through that vent, which is very smart. But here comes the base rush. There goes Octo. Bukaki is now in base. He's got almost no health. Corbin goes down to about half health. Two or three more pistol shots. Rob's going to come around the corner and finish him off. Bukaki holds that off single-handedly. He is out of the chair for that. Uh, battle Commander Go over in Topographical. Curry goes, takes down Swedish, but a mine on the vent gets killed. But oh, there goes a mine taking out Curry on the Topographical RT. Sucks to be him. Aliens have assisted over to Pipeline. Phase Tech is now complete. I'm expecting a System Waypoint Phase Gate right now. That's exactly what's going to happen. Crazy puts down a mine on the doorway between System Waypoint and Nano. Octo and Carva coming around the corner. Crazy's been parasited. Horvin comes in. Here goes the jump. There goes the jump on Crazy. He is going to take off some pot shots. He is going to take down Carva. Carva, wow, Shrek, uh, Alpha takes down Horvin, Crazy goes down to Octo, and Shrek takes down Octo in the mix. Curry is the only one left under that vent right there now. He's under the floor. Shrek's just waiting. I think he knows he's down there. He's going to build the power as Alpha backs back out to sub to build that RT as one Marine pushes into Pipeline. Totally not contested, but that Drifter is going to see him. Rob sees that Drifter. It's going to try and kill it. It's going to round the corner and get away. Rob might turn back around and push down the pipe and go for the RT. So you're going to see the one skull Horvin is probably going to peace out over there to try and do some damage. There's the phase gate in system waypoint, and Crazy is there to back up and take out Curry. Octo, though, is coming in. There's the Drifter. Alpha is now his backup. That Drifter is just going to peace out, try and catch some bullets. As Octo, there's an enzyme. The phase gate is up. So we have active... Uh, Active transport between the two teams now, one into Nano and one into main base, which is excellent. The one Marine over in Pipeline is working on that RT. Horbin is now your first Lurk on the field. Everyone else has res to go Lurk, except for Runchy, who's the only Gorge on the team. Uh, that one, there's an Unmarine in C12. Swedish is going to take on that Lurk. He's got almost no health. He's going to spike, take a bite. Oh, uh, Horbin takes down Rob, I'm sorry, Swedish, to a... Uh, to the lurk there. Shrek, on the other hand, over in System Waypoint and cleaning up, up in actually sub, sorry, and over in Topographical Curry is going to work on that RT. Might actually take it down. Runty is now beaming up with Horbin. He's going to pair up with them. Uh, Marines have actually really good map control. They have the one top, they have the one phase gate right there. I'm sorry, one phase gate right there in System Waypointing, which is a great hold, especially if you're going to push up into Nano. Also, if you want to push down into Cargo, which is the alien's main start, an excellent way to hold the map. Marines are sitting on six res nodes total, which, why, there it goes. Okay, I thought that was a line. That is actually a court tunnel. So there's an OBS tower. That's actually going to defend. That's actually going to cover right all of that. This hallway right here, this uh, block right here, this hallway, part of this hallway right there. So any rushes coming from Nano, it looks like the Marines really want to push in the Nano. No upgrades right now. And taking a look at base, there is an arms lab built, or there's an arms lab there, but it's not built. Looks like two Skulks are now going to push. Curry is just rubber banding all over the place. Two Skulks are going to push right up in the top of Graphical work on that RT. A shift hive has been finished earlier on from the aliens. Three spurs are now down. That gives them full access to full um, uh, celerity and uh, uh, celerity and adrenaline, which gives them more movement speed and more energy. Here comes the push and assist and waypointing. There's the mine. Mine takes out Curry. Wow. 
Corbin needs to be careful. He's only a lurk. He's still favored in with no carapace. Those skulks, that push gets pushed off. Marines are going to continue to push on the right side of the map and recap their right side res, but they're still sitting on five res nodes. In terms of resource towers taken down, including the C12 tower that will eventually go down, aliens have taken down one, I'm uh, sorry, two extractors to the Marines, uh, uh, one taking down one harvester at uh, five and almost a half minutes. That's actually really good. The arms lab has obviously been built as weapons one just started. Team resources, 213 to 142, so almost, almost half of what the aliens have right now. Team kills, Marines obviously dominating all over the place. 18 to 19, 18 to nine, sorry. I am, apparently can't read, IR can't read. Uh, Rusty trying to hold off this push. It looks like the Marines are gonna make a push eventually. I think they're gonna go for this alert kill. Horbin goes in, tries to spike a few of those Marines, but doesn't get anything done. Let's pop down to the, uh, the wide view of the room. Uh, over in Overlook, one Marine now pushing. We're actually gonna cut right through the wall here and go see Shrek. Now chase down that Skulk, who's gonna go down into sub. Now Octo is gonna sit on the wall, there he is, he's on the ceiling, he's in that vent, he's probably gonna make that, but Shrek comes around, he's gonna check his corner, gonna check that vent, takes a few pot shots at Octo, catches him just a little bit, still got almost full health, so he doesn't need to really need to worry about anything. Octo is gonna continue to harass Shrek from this vent underneath, he's gonna just poke, poke, and poke, try and kill him, he's gonna go 1v1, there's the jump, Octo does what he can, tries to make a few bites, Shrek is trying to pistol him down, but Octo looks to have the upper hand, there's the meds, Shrek is about full health, he takes down Octo in that fight, but over in system waypoint, Winning a big jump. Alpha and uh, Robert trying to defend this push. This Lurk and these two Skulks in this Gorge trying to do what they can to take down this, uh, this tunnel. Rob kills a Skulk, but he is all alone against that Skulk, that Lurk, and that Gorge. Those Gorge heals are going to be strong. That gate actually might go down uh, unless that Horbin backs off, but I think he's going to go for a Lurk kill. It's exactly what they're going to go for. Screw the Gorge, go for the Lurk. They held that gate off just barely. Octo's gonna try and come in, takes out the gate. There goes the Gorge, there goes Rusty. He's got enough res to go, I'm sorry, there goes Runty. He's got enough res to re-go Gorge. They're gonna immediately drop that phase gate down. Now they have a third phase gate over in Pipeline the aliens don't even know about. Corbin goes back in against those three Marines who obviously have weapons one. Armor one's almost done. So Marines are going to have a boost in armor in a few seconds. Curry might go down in this firefight. There goes Carva, there goes Curry. Horvin is alone again. The enzyme's not helping at all. Gorge upgrades are going now, trying to do what they can. These Marines, these aliens cannot let the system waypoint gate stay up at all. Uh, this is deadly to Nano. And that being that they're only res, their naturals are cut off. They have no naturals anywhere. Pipeline's been taken, sub's been taken. Now here's the push into wide junction. Horbin doing what he can to hold off this push. Crazy walking back into base. There's offensive mines everywhere in system waypoint. And Marines do not want to give this up. There's the arc lab right there in West Junction. There's Alpha mining up those gates, uh, those vents to try and kill any offensive lurks that might, you know, decide to pop out and then try and go through that vent to escape over in Pipeline. Corbin again pushing his luck just a little bit against Robin Crazy. Here come the phase, Octo and, and Curry now fades. Octo's going 1v1 to Rob, the Crazy's 1v1 with Curry. Oh wow, Octo's gonna get out of there, he's gonna peace out. Those Marines actually might go down, but Shrek comes through the gate to back him up. Marines, I'm sorry, aliens obviously know about that gate. Um, some res biting going on in the red side of the map. Upgrade to Arc Factory has been started. Uh, Arms Lab in, total, in terms of what's going on. Weapons 1 has been finished. Armor 1's been finished. Weapons 2 is being researched. C12 is being bitten. That's going to go down. Topographical is being bitten. That might go down. I don't know what's going to happen with them. A push coming back into sub uh, system waypoint and can that work. He's going to poke a little bit and try and do what he can. Runty takes down Rob, so that topographical RT is going to go down, but it's almost probably going to be recapped. Crazy is trying to recap C12. Corbin cleans him up easily. The aliens have pretty much taken the pipeline phase gate. I don't think the Marines want to go through it. They're making it into a grind gate. It's exactly what they're doing. They're not giving the aliens, uh, the Marines a chance to get to the system waypoint gate. I don't know why don't they just recycle it. Wow, they just lost three of their players. I think they might have had shotguns. Um, that actually kind of might be a big deal. That No, they don't actually have shotguns, but they have so much resin coming. It's not really a big deal. There goes the uh, the, the phase gate and pipe. The phase gate, the RT is still up. Weapons 2 has been completed. Shotgun research has started, which means they didn't lose any shotguns. That's actually not that big of a deal. They did recycle the gate. They don't want to let anything go. Here comes the push in the system again. The main point of contention across this map. Karma doing what he can from behind. Uh, he takes down Rob. The fades are incoming. Shrek goes down to Horbin Spikes. Alpha takes down Carver with a mine, but these Marines are a little out-tech um, in terms of life forms. 
they do have armor one and weapons two, which is a good start. Shotguns are almost done, and once those shotguns drop, then th then things are going to get real. That is a sentry battery being put down to try and defend that room. That's going to give the alien. That's going to give the marines a little bit more poke to uh, to deal with these higher life forms. Chip them down when they're in that firefight, and hopefully take them down. Alpha going one v one against Runty. He gets out with barely a sliver of health. He's going to get out of there. Still no second hide being dropped. Now finally working on getting their naturals back. A big push coming down over in East Junction. Uh, I think they're just grouping up. They want to push system waypointing again. I need to take a drink of my coffee. Oh, Horbin knows those shotguns are up. Octo and Curry just learned that there are shotguns. They don't want to go in there alone, especially with that poke, those poke sentries. They don't want to deal with that. Uh, here comes the changeover. Life forms might start dying. Octo gets a total meat shot in the face. Goes down to about 75% health as Rob and Sweet is coming around the corner. They're going to look to recap. Curry and Horbin come around the corner. Curry is thinking about it. Horbin is thinking about it. There's the jump. There, uh, Swedish has a shotgun. Wow, Horbin goes down in that fight. A body shot on Horbin. He goes down. Curry is going to try and do what he can. So that is one lurk down. Horbin does have enough to go relurk, which isn't a super big deal, but that is one less Onos that they might have in the future. Oh, God, breath. Throat lozenges need lozenge. Um, a hive, a hive has been dropped over in pipeline. That's 32 percent grown. So it's probably gonna go crack hive. Oh, I forgot about the arcs. I totally forgot about the arcs. Armor two has been started. One, two, three, four arcs now pumping the crap out of Nano. That gorge tunnel's at half health. That's gonna go down. Wow, the whip it reaches all the way over to the corner. The crag trying to get as far away as possible. Oh, it's still taking damage, though. I don't know if it's going to make it. There goes the Gorge Tunnel. That RT might go down. That RT is definitely going down. Marines are not taking any prisoners when it comes to Nano. That RT is going to go down. They're going to flow right in and clean that up over in Topographical. Swedish going 1v1 against, uh, against Curry. Going to try and follow that crag that's now sitting on what little infestation they have. Um, Marines are going to try and recap. Those arcs are a great play. Don't waste manpower going in the nano. It's totally useless. Just drop some arcs up there and just wreck the hell out of nano. It's not even worth your time to walk in there and kill your men when the arcs can do all the work for you. Carbon now under the floor in the vent. Alpha and Shrek both in there over in topographical. A big fight going on between Crazy and these two uh, fades. Armor 2 has not been finished. There goes the, there goes Crazy. I believe he did have a shotgun. Phaser just go in and picking up Marines all over the place. But there is no res biting going on across the entire map. Look at this map. Excuse me. This map is cut right there. Uh, C12 is always in contention. So if you want to cut it like this, you could actually cut it like that. Um, the, Mar the aliens have not done any res biting because they're so focused on system waypointing. Uh... So let's look at resource towers. Six resource towers at 12 and a three quarters minutes. That is just under half of what they actually should be biting, which is the golden one to one ratio of minutes to RTs destroyed. Uh, four res nodes destroyed for the for the Marines, uh, killing harvesters rather. That is including the two RTs in nano. Now they're up to five, which is actually gonna be uh, six in a few seconds. Um, the aliens have killed something, they killed sub. Uh, lurk upgrades are going. Pipeline is just now finished. You're going to see a crack dive any minute now. Going to try and give those aliens a little bit more armor. Keep them alive in fights for a little bit longer. But the, the Marines are going to go back, recap, uh, or repair Overlook. Probably go recap, sub, get that res back. They're Rob, you know, these sentries are doing an excellent job. Marines, aliens don't want to mess with those sentries. It's just too much stuff to deal with when you're in a big firefight. Um, Skulk upgrade started. I don't see a prototype lab just yet. Marines are sitting on 2-2 two, two armor weapons. Alpha goes down to almost nothing. Karva takes him down in that fight. Shrek might actually go down. Those two fades are going to wreck him. <coughs> but I might be wrong because uh, those fades take some solid meat shots. And those are uh, not good for fades. Karva goes down almost immediately to that shotgun. Curry needs to be careful. He's hiding behind him. Hey, um, uh, um, um, um. I don't remember what they're called. The the gorge wall thing. I wish I could remember what they're called. I know it's very simple. I can't remember. Um, so we don't have any lurks on the field. Actually, Horbin relurked, so he went lurk. Octo and Curry are still your fades. Looks like Karva and Runtier are both saving for Onos. Might actually have a base push. Uh, Swedish is now in C12. He's going to do some work on the RT. Runty is up in Topographical. He's going to work on that. A chair has been dropped over in sub. Crazy's going to finish the RT and build that. Still, the main point of contention is system waypointing. Uh, the arcs have actually moved down out of West Junction and are now moving down into system waypointing. So I'm assuming, considering their location, they're going to try and arc out... Um, Cargo, some sentries going down in nanogrid to keep the poke solid, 
Make sure nothing pushes in there and does any damage on the power or anything else. Subsector has been finished a chair, so they now have a second chair. Lifeline obviously has been dropped earlier on and has gone crack hive. One shell has been finished for them, giving them 33% of carapace slash regeneration, depending on which uh, trait they pick. Some sentries being dropped. Oh, I'm sorry, a phase gate being dropped at the dome in a big fight following up. There's your first onus. Karva is your first onus. So obviously the Marines know what's going on, but those Marines are going to get cleaned up. That gate is going to be roasty toasty gone, and I'm pretty sure they're going to push right into nano. No, they're going to go back to main cargo chair maybe push system, but those arcs are still in Y Junction, and it looks like the Marines are gonna push down into cargo and try and arc out this hive. They're actually scanning to see what's going on. I think they're looking for that push. They saw them go down to cargo. They don't wanna push those arcs down. That's exactly what they don't wanna do. They moved them back. There's the armory wall in Y Junction. They're gonna block that onus, because that onus can only come up to this point. You can't go past that, that armory wall. So Marines can then actually just sit right here and shoot the onus in the back. That is a dead onus if that onus walks up in there. Over in Topographical, Aliens gotten a little aggressive with the res drops, uh, taking Topographical now for themselves, but that's going to quickly go down. Marines are probably going to continue push. Here's the push into System Waypointing. Curry, Octo, Horman all pushing in from the north side. Carva obviously knows there is a armory wall there. Wow, Alpha is going to get caught out of position. Runty obviously has Biobomb. Runty is going to get hunted down. Shrek is going to go down. He's going to lose a shotgun in that mixture. Somebody's probably going to pick that up. Crazy is going to try and pick that up. I think he just did. Rob has a rifle. Carva going down about half health. He needs to be really careful. That that uh, shotgun is still on the ground. Rob could pick that up. I don't know if he's going to. That's actually what they're going to do right now. They're going to pick up those lost weapons. Do not let weapons sit on the ground. Pro tip. Don't ever let a weapon sit on the ground. It is not a healthy practice. Do not waste res on anything. If a teammate loses a shotgun, pick it up, recycle it, keep it, whatever. Just, you know, make sure you don't lose it. That's 20 res lost. Uh, a push coming now. Swedish Viking in the vent with Octo finds him up in there. But in those close quarters, if he had a shotgun, those would be some dead fades. But he does not, so no dead fades. There's the scan looking for that push. Power is going to go down to C12. Two shells have been completed now over in C12. I'm sorry, two shells have been completed overall for the aliens, giving them 66% carapace regeneration. I need to fix my thing. That's better, and probably need to move it up close to my mouth. <coughs> A big push going down in Y Junction. Shrek uh, taking on this whole alien team. He's going to get rolled over. There's the armory wall. See what I said? Karma cannot get by there. He is actually going to get focused all to hell. Karma might go down. Marines are going to chase him down. He goes down to 23% health, 22% health, 19. He's going to run in the hive. The Marines are going to let him go and not chase. Octo, though, going in on that Marine pack. Very, he needs to be very, very careful how he approaches this. Horbin also needs to be careful. They have Carapace. They have actually three shells. That gives them full Carapace slash regeneration. But Marines are sitting on seven res nodes. Just an obnoxious, silly amount of res. Um, they're just swimming in res. The uh, AA is actually finishing right about now. Weapons 3 has been started. Nanotech is about half done. The AA is almost done, which means Marines know that they're on a time clock. Um, they need to work as hard as possible to get to get jetpacks as fast as possible. And once jetpacks happen, then everything in this game is going to change. Obviously, the, the meta is jetpacks equal dead onos and dead fades. No JP, no prototype lab in main base just yet. But uh, the the sentries are obviously doing their job. It's keeping the marines out of key points of contention. Nano grid and system waypointing. I'm surprised they haven't dropped sentries in C12 uh, and a phase gate there to hold the room. Um, but, you know, honestly, I would put them in Veil and shoot them down this hallway. But whatever, you know, something something right here would be great for sentries. And I think maybe that's what they're going to do. But Alpha and Rob are going to keep this in contention the whole game. They don't want to let the aliens have any res. Aliens are sitting on two res nodes, not including the C12, which is less than ideal. Totally less than ideal. Here comes the push in a system waypointing. There's no gorge. All they have is this Onus, this Lurk, and this uh, this Fade. Obviously the Lurk has Umbra, so that's going to keep these aliens alive, keep the damage down. Sentry's doing their job, but uh, that phase gate's going to go down. Karva's going to take that down. Swedish now in there alone. Curry is going to do what he can. He might actually go down, but he's only got a rifle. Going to try and dodge and weave as much as possible. Karva, Curry gets out. There goes Karva. Karva is dead. That is a dead Onus. The only other team member on Kar uh, Karva is the that can go on us is nobody. Runty is the closest at 42 res, and with only two res nodes, that's not going to happen. There's the phase gate drop from Rob, so that is a successful defend against this alien push. He's only going to get it up about halfway as these fades come in to do some damage, but those sentries doing a little bit of poke, giving him as much time as he can. Runty taking a mine in the face from Alpha, 
A sculpt and a lurk now pushing back in. Might see a third fade, might go full fade ball here, considering jetpacks are going to come out soon. Shrek takes down Carbo with a mine. More defensive mine going on that gate. They don't want to let that gate up at all. Weapons 3 has just been finished. Octo needs to be careful. Rob has a shock and he's getting meted. He might take him down. He's got no help, but damn it all. Octo's missing so many swipes just all over the place. Wow. Um, I am sorry, stream. Apparently my stream is laggy and I don't know how to fix it. I'm sorry. Uh, where was I? So, let's see. Uh, Marines have the tech they need to win. The prototype lab has been finished, jetpacks are researching. Uh, everything they need to, to, to win this game is finishing. The arcs are actually still in uh, system waypointing, just above system waypointing. They're actually just chilling, they're just waiting. The Marines don't want to push that into contention. The two fades now pushing up into C12. <coughs> Gonna do what they can to harass Marines, but Marines are constantly back capping all the revs, so Marines are a constant steady flow of seven resonance the entire game, pretty much. Um, Alpha getting nano shielded against this this alien push. Lead is also there. Runchy doing what he can. Octa going in, but missing swipes all over the place. Horvin is just spiking from a distance trying to Umbra his teammates so they don't die. Swedish going down to Runty as he tries to keep pressure off this topographical RT because aliens obviously know that they need that RT. Curry and Carva trying to defend the dome. Looks like Marines want to put down a phase gate in the dome. There's the scan. Gonna jump in. Carva jumps in but takes an immediate shock under the face. Corbin needs to be careful. That is what I need to see. You can see they're shooting through that little tiny door, which is a death trap with those shotguns. Uh, they're going to lead them back into the door and hopefully try and goad these aliens into taking some form of risk. Try and get some damage on them with some hope. Octo trying to go for swipes. Marines know not to go anywhere past the door. Um, anywhere past that doorway line is a death trap. I don't know what they're waiting on. I think they're waiting on time, honestly. Time more than anything. Two Marines up at C12. Aliens are going to have to make a choice. Do they continue to defend the dome? Or do they push up to C12 and try and kill these Marines go around the back way? Crazy and Rob now free to do whatever they want. Up in C12, the RT goes down. A push Command across the map. Um, over in system waypointing. As I cruise around the map, Runty going down to Shrek's pistol. Aliens are going to constantly work on this uh, sentry battery. Wow, there goes Octo as they try and kill that sentry battery. I don't think that was at all worth that push. Um, there goes Carva. Sentry batteries are super cheap as compared to a fade. Uh, that was not at all worth it. I don't know why they sacrificed a fade on, especially since fades do no damage, almost no damage to buildings. That seemed like a really bad trade in my opinion. A phase get going up in C12. Probably going to see some sentries right about there to try and defend that hallway. Um, but losing a fade to a sentry battery does not seem worth it. Now here comes the skull push. Um, the obs tower is right there, so that's going to defend, that's going to cover pretty much the whole base. Uh, aliens I don't think are seeing just yet. There's these, there's them seeing it. They're going to get right on the gate, but they should actually get on the obs tower. I think this might be an all-in push. There's all the marines going to defend against that push. Octo getting taken out as he tries to do something. I don't know why exactly they went for the gate. That was kind of silly. They should have gone for the obs tower, but I think the marines knew about it well beforehand. Marines are just hugging the gates. They don't need to push. They don't need to do anything. All they need to do is just be aggressive on the C12RT and keep them down. Here comes the jetpack rush. All the Marines flowing right into pipe. There's a scan. Power's obviously down, but it doesn't matter. Emergency lights are up. This hive is going to get shotgunned all to hell. 65% already. Uh, Curry doing what he can, but against five shotguns, that is not good. That hive is going to go down 30% now. Curry trying to take some swipes. Trying to avoid bullets, 2%. There goes the hive. There goes the crack hive. An immediate beacon to save all of his marines. Don't, doesn't lose a single marine in that entire engagement. Defensive beacon, more than anything. Get the marines out of the room. Try and defend against what they can. Now they're going to push all the marines down to cargo. Going to do the exact same thing. Aliens, this is pretty much endgame right here. There's the GG from Carva. Marines are going to kill that hive almost immediately. Just going to shock that at all to hell. There goes Carva as he F4s. Sorry, kill, he died. Then he's going to F4. Uh, Carva has lost this to PFG, 1-0. to zero. There is the windscreen. That is a good, good marine hole. Good job.